Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to another Indie Game Sunday. And today we're going to be playing Atlas Fate Between Light and Darkness. Alright, so this game is made with Custom Engine, and I think it's a student project also. And you might be thinking this is Origami, it's actually not. It's made by completely different developers. I will have their name down to the bottom left. And without further ado, we're going to get into it and try it out. Seems like a stealth type game too, so it should be interesting. Seems like some evil corporation is taking over or something. Is that what her story headed? I can already say I like the map so far. I do apologize if it looks choppy for you guys. It looks pretty damn clean for me and smooth. Seems like it is inspired by our origami a little bit, though. Oh wow, the sensitivity is something I would love to change. That is way too high, Jesus. Oh, so light turns up. Okay, yeah, this is basically inspired by our origami. So I can transfer through shadows. Ah, so I can hide in the shadows, but I also have a timer of how long I can stay in there. And it recharges pretty slow too. If I go out into the light, it turns off. It seems this is closed. It's time for you to show off the effectiveness of your powers for climbing up the wall. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> you can die from fall damage. <laughs> well, uh, you know. It happens, man. It happens. Now, I never played the actual origami game. I played the um, demo of it, it when it had a closed. completely different character. Time for you to show off the effectiveness of your powers for climbing up the wall. Those of your kind could survive through this type of fall if you merge in the shadows just before they impact the floor, couldn't they? Then go! I don't think I have to wish you good luck. Ah, so I can just hold it down on the way down. Cool. Okay, so I can crouch. Run, crouch. But what about jump? Shit, the bridge is broken. You must look for another way to cross to the other side. Oh, so my character doesn't know how to jump. We're incapable of that. We're a man who can hide in the shadows, but we can't make a jump. <laughs> uh. Alright, that looks like an appropriate place to go. Ah, the light has stopped stopped us the first time. That's what it was. That's why we couldn't climb up it. Oh, 
Yeah, no, we can't go up here. There is like a block though. Are we supposed to pick this up at oh? Apparently I have a queue for like an echo. I feel like we're supposed to do something with this. I don't know. How about I say, if I would have died for that little bit of fall damage, we would have been fighting. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. Oh, well then. Oh, you can't actually get out of that. Wow. Okay, loading screen. Well, um, your fail screen takes a little bit long. Got good checkpoints though, but loading screen kind of like long on that one. But not loading screen, the screen for your death is what I was trying to say. But that's pretty dope. What the hell are these things? Seems like that one was not completely broken. Throw off the inhibitor and keep working. Come on, there's no time to lose. Oh. Watch out! There's a patrol over there. Try to eliminate it without being detected, or you're as good as it is. Oh, so I have like little Tron disc. <laughs> oh, that's neat. I can grab it and merge it into the ground. You are now one with the Shadow Realm. We still don't know what kind of computer failure caused the security of the enclosure to turn against us. But since then, we haven't been able to re enter. Okay. Yeah. Access. So we're basically like a robot shadow ninja. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that there aren't any options in this actual window though. The security system but I get it. But I kind of get it, it wasn't like a student project, nothing like really serious. Or intended to like be a huge full game. Which would be actually be pretty neat if it was, to be honest. You're never going to finish at this rate. Come on, get your ass over there. Dude, if you don't shit the fuck up, okay, I'm going. Jeez, calm down. Trap, isn't it? That's a good trap. You're lying to me, Morgan. Huh. Ah, it's a red pad. A lot of random skips. Find and activate the energy tower terminal. Located on the other side of the district. You can use the sonar we gave you to locate its exact position. So basically quest finder or objective finder. Basically, what it was. Oh, a lot of robots going around now. I could go on the other side of this fence. Hi. <laughs> okay, he does one shot. I thought he would do something else. <laughs> I just wanted to say hello. What the hell, man? <laughs> uh, okay. No clowning around. I'm serious. I'm a super serious ninja. I swear. Oh, wow. I guess I was too close, maybe? Okay, that time, 
I was not trying to get stepped on, okay? I'm not into that king. <laughs> but god damn it. <laughs> How did I get called? Oh, actually. I don't even think I have to fight these guys or, you know, take them out. I can just... Boop. Just ninja stealth, man. I think he hears that I'm up here. Can I look up here? Oh, he, he can hear my ping too. I don't think they can look up. I have that as my advantage. <laughs> oh. Oh, and that's also a way to move them, too. What are you looking at? I don't think he knows what he wants. Pretty loud. Go over here. The fuck? I don't like that thing. Heidi hole. There we go. I like I like games that have like secret entrances and stuff like that. Okay. Now leave the district and go to the central. I'll just go back from which I came. Okay, that is weird angles. God damn it. Well, yeah, you can die from that fall height. <laughs> damn it. Okay, now leave the district and go to the central. Thanks for your tip, game, but it doesn't work. Wait. I was to say, how high can I go with this? Can I even reach up there? No, I can't. Okay, no, I can't go up there. Okay, I can go right here at least. Jeez. So that's where I go next. I was about to say, go up. <laughs> I'm out of here, boy. Thank God for the pain.
anything super serious in here. Oh, that's open. Okay. Noted. I'm not liking how the game looks on OBS right now. It looks like it's pretty choppy. Even though it's, it's kinda matching the movements a little bit. And yes, that actual like spike went on in the game. <laughs> the fuck am I doing here? The final challenge. trying to do something you don't see shit go away We need that thing to go back over there now. I guess I can say. So that I gotta get to. I'm not sure which way that thing is pointing. I'm gonna be honest with you. Wait, can I do something? Okay, so I can't ping or use my sensor when I'm in shadow form. I was about to say, how can I not enter it right here? Huh? Oh, okay, so that should make shadows. So I can actually walk on that. Okay. So I basically just made uh, this whole part dark. So I can then just stealth out of here. Game? I swear to god, man. I don't know how I made it to that. Okay. We're good. Okay, I'm trying to ping. I can't. Okay, there we go. Some way to get up there. <laughs> ah. 
I was about to say, don't you dare die. Somehow I gotta get up there. I think I know what it's trying to make me do. God damn it. I'm so confused, man. It, there's so many different ways that I can probably do it. I was about to say, dude, come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I feel like it's a time limit, if anything. Because this was like... Oh. That's interesting. I didn't think you could do that. How, how can you not... I was about to say, it's kind of weird to see that one just because uh, it's blending in with the black right there, so you don't know if it's a shadow or not. Like I said, I do apologize if the game is a little bit choppy through OBS. OBS has been weird as of late. As a real douche. Just do your job. Just do your job. <laughs> do we get a choice in the end, or is it? Oh, I was about to say we do what get a choice in the end. Come on, do it. I'm gonna choose A. Let's see what happens. What? Dude, what the fuck is this? Okay, that's a completely different tone. It's the atmosphere right atmosphere right now. I like that they gave us a choice in the end though. That was Atlas Fate. I recommend you guys try out the game just to see the other ending. <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna leave you guys with that. But overall, pretty neat game. There were a few like little minor issues, but nothing too much to complain about, but major things always have a control option inside of your pause menu. Two, there needs to be a little bit of adjustment between like black and lighting because you guys saw that I was trying to climb the sign but I couldn't tell which one was shadow or not. 
so that is kind of a thing that needs to be looked into a little bit towards like lighting wise uh, I think I've said quite a few other things inside of the video too I just can't remember every single thing I do like the mechanics though the mechanics of it's pretty neat and I have not played uh, origami so I'm not sure how much of the game is inspired from it but I'm pretty sure origami could do the same thing but then again this was a student project so not just like straight up just selling the game you know that is basically copying off of another game they wanted to try and make something you know kind of similar to see you know how far they can go is pretty much what I see now to be honest there are no options at all for music sounds or anything not even sensitivity that's a major thing that always should be in your games no matter if it's a demo or not that's something that should always be looked into is sound settings control schemes that you can change around there needs to be like resolution changes because you know your game could be you know your game could probably not fit a monitor well i remember clicking off the game and it went into some very different resolution so i had to close the game and restart it so that was kind of an issue but overall pretty neat game so with that said i'm gonna end it there hope you guys enjoyed it and to the Peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.